Welcome to Silver Star State Company Wine Blog. I'm Francois, General Manager of Silver Star State Company. With me today, I have Tracy, my wine rep from George's Distributing. Welcome, Tracy. Thank you. So we have uh, been spending some time over the last few months talking about uh, wines by the glass that we serve here at Silver Star, and Tracy helps me pick them out. We taste wines here and there, so it's been fun for us to get together and put together these wine blogs for everybody to appreciate and see how we do this and how it goes. So Great. today we're going to try a little Cabernet. Uh, Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon, favorite. of course, not yes. Cabernet Franc, but Cabernet Sauvignon today. And uh, we have one from Paso Robles called Broadside. So if you want to tell them a little right. bit about this wine. Well, I think you actually have three cabs on the list. Um, and when we're picking out cabs, we actually have one from Argentina, one from uh, Paso Robles, which is central California. And that has a different terroir than the Stephen Vincent cab, which is actually more northern California. Oh. So, uh, Paso Robles, I have actually been there. I've not been to Loire or Trentino yes. or all the other places that we've been talking about, but I have been to Paso. It's a very, very fun, uh, younger growing wine region of California, um, taking on some competition between Napa and Sonoma. Sonoma, yes, and yes. I, I, my restaurant wasn't far from Paso Robles, so we used to love going up there and tasting wines. So that's how you got into this business, right? Uh, you uh, were uh, at a family uh, business? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, I'm actually fourth generation restaurateur, so I've been a long time. And uh, not far from there is San Luis Obispo, which Correct. is not far from this wine comes from. And uh, when I was a kid, I actually used to go to speech tournaments up in San Luis Obispo. So it's kind of beautiful area, uh, uh, close to my heart, a uh, region that I really enjoy their wines. And isn't that where Davis, UC Davis is? UC, uh, UC Davis is higher to the north. Oh. Not, a lot more up there. Okay, so, I thought they did some wine. No, uh, Cal Poly. Cal, Cal Poly, Poly that's that plays against can, MSU that's all the right. time. Yes, yes. They're, they're from this region. I remember so. watching that game. I don't know and how many months. Tannins like uh, the Cal Poly team, but you know, that, that is what it is. Right. Uh, so, um, a terrific wine for a steakhouse like Silver Star. Obviously, uh, big bold wine that goes great with a lot of the dishes. So, let's That's give right. it a try and uh, let's see what we have today. Uh, I love the color of this wine, uh, just absolutely uh, beautiful color. So, people ask me a lot um, why we swirl the glass, why we smell it. I mean, it's not like we pick up a steak and smell it or any of the food things. Um, That's true, yeah. So, you know, we were talking about it earlier, um, especially red wines, letting it breathe, right. letting the oxygen get to it. Now, you don't want the oxygen in it when it's corked because then it turns into vinegar, but once you let the wine out, you want to let it breathe a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then smelling. Smelling is such a big part of wine. It is I because mean, your sense of smell dictates your taste buds. That's it, yep. It's so funny, like if somebody says, oh, this is a cigar box is a mm -hmm. term you see sometimes. And you're like, how often do we ever eat a cigar box? Right? Or Never like happened. a pencil or a rock or, 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 or tar or, exactly. you know, so on and so forth. So it's funny how we have these terminologies in the wine business that we use uh, while we're tasting wines, but it has to do with how your brain assimilates the smell to what you think it would taste like. Right. It's kind of funny how And there's works. a method to the madness, too. When you uh, smell a particular mm. wine, you want it to smell and taste like where it's grown. So a Paso Cab is going to have different characteristics than a Napa Cab or a Bordeaux. Right, so yeah. um, the, a soil. True, the soil, the um, ocean air off San Luis Obispo coming into Paso. Paso is a really hot area. Um, the fruit ripens a lot more quick, quickly. And you typically get a little bit higher alcohol sometimes in that mm -hmm. Paso area okay, as well. So a little, so, little bigger. And a little bigger well, let's, whole body Well, let's give wine. it a try. All right. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that Cabernet. Oh, no. Actually, to be honest with you here at Silver Star, this Cabernet has been a huge crowd pleaser. Yes, it has. People absolutely love having this cab, whether they're sitting uh, by themselves um, without food, they have a nice glass of it. Or, exactly. Or, but then also with the certified Angus beef that we serve, the steaks, the... Uh, you know one, one dish I really enjoy this with is uh, bruschetta. The correct pronunciation. The correct, yes, yes, because <laughs> it's funny, you know, we all call it bruschetta, but uh, yeah. Uh, bruschetta. being part Italian that I am, it's kind of funny. I did some research on it, looking at it, it's actually spelled and should be pronounced bruschetta, but but I don't know. think anybody pronounces it that way, so um, Either way. we could call it bruschetta, see, bruschetta, bruschetta, whatever people but want to do. But we learned something today, so, so that's important. Yeah, there you go. So at least right? we know what's right if we want to use it. Uh, but and the other thing I love about the wines at the Silver Star, too, I think you take very good... Um, care in selecting the wines. People always ask how we come about this process. Um, I try to bring you wines that are not everywhere else. We don't want to find wines necessarily at 
convenience stores or grocery stores. Oh, oh. This is a smaller production. Um, the Bordeaux that you pick are very unique, um, yet they're affordable. And um, I think people need to know that the wines that are picked at the Silver Star, you've tried every single one and every, approved every single wine here. That's right. Yeah, we, we uh, to go with your food. Wines that go with the food and are, you know, whether you want to sit down, have a glass of wine, some few appetizers and uh, so on mm -hmm. and so forth. It's just... It's a unique it's just experience. A great, yeah, and that's why we love uh, picking so many different wines. And, uh, and thanks for bringing so them to me. Yes, <laughs> you know, yes, it's a good part of the job sometimes. Right, but exactly. uh, well, cheers. All right, cheers. Thank you, Tracy, and uh, come join us at Silver Star Steak Company for a glass of wine sometime.